Hello, and welcome to my list of places I would like to retire in BG3. Listen, I may be in my 20s and the youngest person in my workplace, but I'm sure as heck ready to retire and settle down in a cottage with my three dogs and one cat. But with the current state of the housing market, example A, example B. So for now, I think it's easier just to pretend that I'm living somewhere in Faerun. Maybe even have a little farm, grow my own food, be a self-sustaining little girly. No points on guessing which game I'm playing to fill the Baldur's Gate hole in my heart. So. Follow me as I show you what's available on the current real estate market in Faerun. Let's start off with Act 1, shall we? We don't want any want to be spoiled, do we? Even though it has been a year. Okay, property number 1. Ravage Beach. Um, lovely views, lovely views, but um, it's a little dirty. You know, with all the nautiloid parts scattered about, I don't think I can very nice uh, cadaver on the floor there with its tentacles just too much fire too much debris could i maybe use the nautilite parts to make a house i could maybe 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 if i'm staying near a beach i want there to be more water less fire this one has a, a bit too much fire d tier next up we have emerald grove mm. Very nice, very quaint. Lots of druids, lots of animals, both I love. I am the druid house. Oh, great heavens! But the, um, they can be a little racist. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. The, the druids, not the animals. Okay, maybe the animals sometime. We just uh, try not to step on any toes. But I mean, if you are a druid, you'll fit perfectly in here. But seeing how I am a small little human girl, maybe not. B tier. The wetlands. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse in life than having a hag as your neighbor. You never know when you've offended them. And the next thing you know, you're a sheep. Not to mention, like after she's done stirring in her little cauldron, she's gonna dump that shit out on the swamp. And who will bear the brunt of such inappropriate behavior? This girl. This girl right here will have to bear the brunt. I do not want to deal with any more magically affected frogs. That mini boss fight, it was a bit hard. It was a t teeny weeny bit too hard. D tier. This is the blighted village. I don't think m much needs to be said. It's, it's kind of gross. I mean, there are some facilities that I can make use of. Um, I mean, I could stay underground. I mean, it's not bad. I have direct access to the spiders downstairs, but um, it's it's kind of gross, actually. Not to mention the ogres. Not ideal. I don't want them to eat me. I am just a small little girly ready for retirement. I am not ready to pass away. C tier. Um, next on market, we have a lovely uh, goblin camp, once was known as a Salunite temple. The neighbors would be really smelly and gross. Now, if this was real estate after the goblins have been evacuated, it would be slightly better. Not by much, but slightly. But I mean, it's quite cool if you live in a Salunite temple. It's a real fixer upper. You get access to the Underdark, which is fantastic. All the mushrooms you can eat. Uh, but assuming those noisy little Gremlins. Oh, I'm sorry, was that racist? Assuming those noisy little um, things are still there. F tier. Next, we have the mountain pass slash monastery trail. Um, I think this is a fantastic place. It is very beautiful. Um, you can catch lots of lovely sunsets here. Stunning views. The birds might be a bit of a problem, but um, nothing His Majesty can't handle. Because I think this is really fantastic real estate. It's far away enough from people, but not too far. We have the occasional member of Society of Brilliance coming around for trade. Fantastic. And I think I can build my house near the elevator. So if anyone needs to go down, they pay me a toll and I turn the little wheel for them. 
I mean, if they if they have a barbarian on hand, then like great, good for you. You turn it yourself. But if they don't, if they don't, I do it, and you pay me. So that's fantastic. I'm gonna give this an S tier. Oh, okay. But if we are talking about the monastery, it's a different it's a different thing altogether. You know how I said that I wouldn't, for the life of me, or stay with goblins or have gay Yankee neighbors downstairs in the basement. Not fantastic. They might try to constantly kill me, if not put me in a box and like have their little spawn throw me about and then it'll be me screaming in the box. Are uh, gay Yankee better than goblins? Yes. Are they cleaner? Yes. Are they smarter? Yes. Uh, but are they more violent? Yes. Um, more likely to kill me? Yes. Um, are they more capable? Compared to the goblins in killing me? Very much so. I'm here to retire, not to pass away. Having gay and key neighbors would not be ideal. But can you also imagine like I'm just sleeping in one of the rooms and one of them just like toddles up and like, Oh, have you heard the good news? Have you heard about our great savior, Lekith? I would pass away. So I'm gonna give um, the monastery a D tier. I said it once, I'll say it again. Nothing kills a real estate market more than bad neighbors. Okay, next, we have seen the upper realms of Faerun in Act 1. Now we are going down a smidge to the Underdark. Fantastic place. A bit less neighbors. Okay, so first off, we have Arcane Tower. Fantastic. Um, already comes with the facilities needed. Is it a bit secluded? Yes. But it comes with its own security system. Where else can you get that in Faerun? Very rare. Very, very rare. And it also has butler robots. That also gives hugs. Fantastic. Amazing. Give me 10. Yes, uh, but not not a lot of sunlight. And I do need my sunlight. So, um, perhaps get my UV rays from the flower. So I just stand there. And then the light from the flower will give me the vitamin D I need. I'm gonna give this a A tier. Okay, up next we have Brimforge. Um, I mean, it's free lighting, it's nice, it's aesthetic, but a little too hot for my liking. I'm very, very clumsy, if you can't tell. Ah, oh, oh. Can you imagine I wake up one morning with my little muck ready to go and I trip and I fall? <coughs> And I'm in lava. No, 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 no. I do not th think so. Especially for one such as uh, myself with a very little cognitive um, reflex. I'm from Singapore. I'm from the tropics. We can take the heat, but doesn't mean that we like it. We hate it very much. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Oh fuck. Uh, as your property agent, I am so sorry. I do not know how to pronounce this place. Uh, the little mushroom village. Mm, let's just call it that. Okay, so I already know the Micronoids are going to be fantastic neighbors. Amazing. Um, are there random exploding mushrooms? Yes. And will I be coughing up my lungs from the excess spores? Yes, yes I will. But you know what? It's a very lovely place. It's like very aesthetic, very bioluminescent place. Nowhere else can you get such nice um, ambiance and nice neighbors. I hope they do not try to convert me to one of their mushroom, mushy, mushy friends. But I mean, they are so nice. To be fair, like so far, the neighbors we have are goblins, hags, gay Yankee, and out of everyone, I think um, the Michaeloids are the best so far. So just for the neighbors, I would give them A tier. The bar is in Avernus, guys. I feel like I shouldn't even mention this place. Decrepit village. Like, it's the same thing with the blighted village. Yeah, no, it's a bit too rotten for me. Not very well uh, fortified against dwegas. Can you imagine I'm just having my little matcha in the morning? And a little dwega runs past me. What the hell? No, I want to uh, enjoy my matcha in peace. Eat here. The last one on our list. Um, let's just call it the fish village. They might not be very great neighbors. 
because they might sacrifice me to their god which is not ideal again i want to retire not pass away and like i'm not being mean or anything but they might not smell the best they might not but i mean they do funny dances so maybe i don't know um, i'm gonna give it like a d tier just because they're kind of cute but they're gonna be smelly and gross so no uh, and that's it we have come to the end of the real estate market in act one uh, let me know if i missed out any i hope i did not uh, and where would you like to retire in Faerun? i think so far it's only the monastery trail so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my little house i got from google images i'm going to place it there and this is where i'm going to retire now okay if anyone needs me i will be here and i will turn the little wheel for you if you pay me one go thank you so much for watching this video and i hope it made you laugh uh, so that's my goal because life is already very bleak look at the real estate market in current time and you'll know what i mean yes so thanks for watching and taters